You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. From his central Texas command center, deep behind enemy lines, That's right, the information North war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. I, I want to go to a few calls, but i got to pay the bills around here as well. Child Ease supports calm, focused attention. It works on adults as well. It's 20-plus known organic concentrated uh, fruit and uh, herb extracts that uh, really does wonders on out-of-control hyper kids, in my experience. Uh, and it's available at a very low price at InfoWarsLife.com. Your purchase supports the entire transmission. We have the Alex Jones Challenge. Uh, pack where you can get the, 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 the three nutraceuticals that really help me get back in better shape. The X2, the Oxy Powder, the Super Mill Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com. I want to thank you all for your support. Let's go ahead now and go to David in Louisiana listening on WGSO 990 AM. Go ahead. Thanks for holding. Hi, Alex. Thanks for taking my call. I, um, I'm listening at, on WGSO 990 AM in New Orleans. I've got a radio station in the evenings, and uh, we reiterate the sentiment of, uh, that you expressed during your show. My comment was, um, I'd like to see a panel discussion to initiate the battle plan laid out by uh, Robert David Steele as far as the Open Power Electoral Reform Act of 2015. Seeing people like Gerald Salente, Paul Craig Roberts, Lou Rockwell, William Benny, yourself, and others come together and rally all these little factions together to try to initiate um, the, the basic plan that Robert David Steele has come now up see, with. Now, see, what you're saying is a plan. We have to start the proto-meetings to figure out a basic model to sell to the states to start. I always thought a con-con could kill us, but maybe a constitutional convention. The states could take the federal government back and declare it defunct. And the states are lined up to do that. I think we've actually got the votes now. Uh, but, but separately, at the federal level, that electoral reform plan sounds pretty darn good. I mean, we know what we got isn't working. No, and I don't think that we have the time. I mean, who wants to wait for 2016? 2015 is the time to act. Who wants to wait for another election? We can start uh, uh, sending these letters and occupying the local offices of our congressmen People don't have to go to Washington, D.C. They can go right in their own city and sit outside until something gets done. Well, I know this. The government that's illegitimate is gearing up for collapse. They're acting really scared. We should be having a, a discussion with the general public. What is it they're so scared of? War? Bioweapons? Collapse? I mean, it, it, it's just crazy. They're reopening the bunkers. They're building new ones. I, I mean, you know, I, I just want to have a good life and a good family and have freedom. I mean, I don't want a civil war. I'm not looking for a fight. I don't want to be, you know, the, the new George Washington. Uh, I just want to stop the craziness. we got a bunch of crazy criminals running things. And if you study criminology, they're mentally ill, folks. They think they're invincible. I run up against so many con men and low-level nuts. They always are so sure of themselves. And I, and I mean, I'm a confident person, but only when I have to be. I'm not confident in that I can do whatever I want. And these people are dangerous. God bless you. Great to hear from you, David. Great job. Uh, plug your radio station. Oh, he's already gone. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Kevin in California. Thanks for holding. Hello, Alex. How are you doing? Good, brother. Go ahead. Hey, I, uh, you know, I wanted to bring up the fact that I uh, used to work with a coworker, a contractor for Kaiser Permanente out of the hospital here in Woodland Hills, uh, County of Los Angeles. And um, he had actually worked with Aaron Alexis, the gentleman who went into the uh, D.C. Naval Yard and shot a bunch of people. Who said that he was under uh, ELF attack, yeah. Right. And um, he knew this person uh, intimately, uh, uh, not only on a work professional level, but also uh, privately. They were roommates. And um, they used to go out and hang out together and, and uh, uh you know, go dating and things like this. Um, he wasn't the kind of person um, uh, that uh, the media and uh, various... Well, I'll tell you what, you've already been holding for an hour, and so is Sarah, Ben, Rich, and Bob. Stay there. I'm going to come back and let you finish your story. Don't hang up, Kevin. And we'll do 15 more minutes or so here. Uh, so stay with us. We'll get to all these callers that are currently holding. Those five I mentioned. Sorry to anybody else. We'll be right back on the other side. Yeah, that whole naval yard shooting... 
was just super phony. I mean, I don't know particularly what really happened there, but the story didn't add up. Plus, it's known liars that run things. Why do we believe any of it? I mean, it's... <laughs> The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercials. Just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com. And an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955. 855-955-7866. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show because there's a war on for your mind. All right, we're finishing up with Kevin. Says that uh, his friend was roommates with the supposed naval yard shooter. I mean, if you followed the Boston bombing, you know the older brother was in a CIA-paid program from Georgetown University and the Russians blew his cover and he had a fake passport that Homeland Security let him travel back and forth, I think it was seven times, uh, to Chechnya. And that they had nice cars and money and were hanging out. Were they part of a drill? There was a drill. We know there was a drill. They threatened our reporters to shut up, told the media not to talk to our reporters, and the media followed those orders. And then they said the brother killed a cop and did all this stuff. And it turned out none of that was true. And the witnesses all said they shot him and killed him. And it turned out there was video of it. And then they find the brother and try to kill him and then cut his throat out. And he says he's not guilty. His family says he's shut up. The media won't show what the family said exactly, just that they say it's staged. And then his lawyer comes out and says he did it. Well, he did do the murder. He did do the bombing. But we, we want to say he wants to say he's not guilty. I mean, that's a mistrial right there. So if they ever got me in prison and I'm saying I'm not guilty, you never see me, but my lawyer goes, he says he did it. Turns out she's the same lawyer for other patsies. So uh, finish up with what your friend said about the supposed uh, naval yard uh, shooter who, who, who supposedly on the side of a shotgun said, my ELF weapon. Yeah, uh, 
he mentioned uh, that or called it "This is my ELF weapon." But anyway, he um, uh, mentioned to me that he would like to be vetted. He would like to have his story, uh, his contact, because he was a coworker with him. They were both in the military, but he also worked as a military contractor in uh, IT. Uh, both of them together, and they were roommates. Uh, they hung out together. They went on on dates together. Um, a very mild-mannered uh, individual, very cool, uh, cool, calm, collected uh, individual, not somebody who's uh, had a propensity for violence. He wasn't this mindless gamer who sat in front of the uh, PC for uh, 16, 18 hours a day playing video games. Uh, none of this was true. None of this was uh, 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 about his true character. He was a, a very... Uh, easygoing, uh, fun-loving individual, and um, whatever caused him to do whatever he, he did, um, uh, the co-worker that I worked with that knew him uh, stated something must have been going on with him. Well, and, he called the um, cops three times and tried to meet with them and said, they're messing with me, they're mind-controlling me, and he was too old to have just become a schizophrenic then, and it came out in the news he had a good record as a government contractor, so he either had a brain tumor Kind of like the UT Tower shooter turned out had a huge brain tumor. Just He was a nice guy that went completely insane. He had a brain tumor. You're either got a brain tumor or you're on some type of drug when you have a normal life and all of a sudden start acting crazy. Just like this pilot was normal until he got on Prozac type drug. Uh, so he was either got on Prozac and went crazy, I would say, or he was like Captain Hansen, who, remember, they set up and put on LSD. That was right there in Maryland. Uh, so they've had a lot of weird stuff going on. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we'll put you on hold. You want to give us this fellow's contact info, we'll try to reach out to him. That's why I need to get more reporters. We have great reporters, but they're overworked sometimes. It's like I got a lot of great hitters here. But it's like you got a ball machine shooting a ball every two seconds. The best batter in the world can't hit half of those. And we need to get five, six more riders. We don't have the money. That's why it's important to buy the products at InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com. Whether you buy a shortwave radio from us or a high-quality water filter or books or videos or T-shirts or the InfoWars Life products, that's how I can go to the next level and really get even more done. My biggest frustration is it's hard to find good people. I finally got a good crew and you know, through and through, and it's hard to then cover everything. But with another six, seven writers, another six, seven physical reporters, and camera people, I could really turn the heat up. So just flood our coffers, folks, and we'll do it. Infowarslife.com. We'll build it. We know you'll come. We need the funds to do it. Thank you, Kevin. Sarah in Indiana, thanks for holding her on the air. Hey, thanks for going into overdrive for us, Alex. You bet. Hey, um, actually, um, we ordered some products from you guys a while back, and you actually double shipped it, which is the opposite of what most companies would do. <laughs> well, and, that shows uh, how we do things. <laughs> no wonder I'm losing right, money. And, well, I was... <laughs> pardon me? I was just joking. Oh, 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 so they shipped you two things of products. Well, that's great. Uh, yeah, that was awesome, and my husband opened up the other one, so we'll be sending you guys that money here soon. Oh, whatever. Um, you can just have it. I don't care. No, I wouldn't do that. You're an honor rule guy. No, it's and, not nice. It's not your fault we double shipped it. Just keep it. Seriously. But, but yeah. Go ahead. Well, it, I can't wait to try the childies as well because I have two kids with autism. Um, oh, wow. That said, I wanted to talk today about CERN. Um, I watched something this morning, and um, let's see, I take Adderall for a sleep disorder, so I'm a little jittery. So if I, yeah, just please forgive me. Um, anyway, basically, this is a pastor named Paul Bagley. And he was interviewing a guy that he calls Mike from around the world. And he was talking about CERN and the dark matter and the black holes. And he was talking about that it's supposed to split the veil, um, like it says in the Bible, you know, to peek behind the veil that they're going to find. Yeah, to open up another there. dimension. It's not a very good idea. Yeah. And I know some people in the military, and they seem kind of scared. So, well, that's because, um, you know, atomic weapons, the equations are from 1900 Max Planck. That's old technology. Uh, antimatter weapons is what they're looking for with CERN and other stuff. You know, the God particle. And it really does open other dimensions. It really does create black holes. The Japanese 20 years ago were creating black holes and then trying to hold them together in these big, uh, I'm not a physicist, but I've read about it in all the publications, you know, these big 
it's like force fields on spaceships in a movie, but it's real, but it holds the black hole in. And if that black hole gets out of control, we're done. But the scientists go, oh, there's a low probability.